Hi, today I want to talk about old lead acid battery like this one here. Now this one is from my electric bike from a long time ago. I was about to recycle it because when I charged this uh, battery I wasn't able to bring it up to 12 volt. Initially when I charged it it said 13.2 or 0.3 and then after a few hours it drops down below uh, 12 volt. I think it was 11.5 so basically it can't be used to charge anything that's above uh, 12 volts so it's kind of waste right so I was about to recycle it and I thought wait a minute there's a lot of system that actually uses a 5 volt like for example your smartphone your uh, portable speakers your battery bank system even your camera battery okay so this one is a MPFW50 batteries for the Sony's like the A5000 the A6000 the A7 okay the older model anyway but yeah it still works so somehow I need to convert that 10 or 11 volt system to a 5 volt system you see I can still hook this up to uh, my uh, solar panel and then once it's fully charged bring it like it will drop down to 11.5 and then I can hook it up and charge the system let me show you now Alright, let me show you how to connect an old lead acid battery that can't not go above 12 volt. It's now sitting around 10 to 11 volts and hook up to a system that is a 5 volt system so you can still use it. So you're not wasting it anymore. Uh, you don't want to recycle it here because it can be, still be used and used efficiently. Okay, let me switch over the camera and show you. There we go. This battery, even though I fully charged it uh, the other day, um, it's still not maintaining its charge. It's supposed to be around at least 12 something, right? But look at this. When I check the voltage, you can see it's only 11.6, which is not great at all for uh, if you want to uh, power a 12 volt system. So in your converter, it will not even be able to do that because it has it needs a minimum of at least 12 volt. And here we have 11.6. It might run for a few minutes, and then it will, the voltage will drop below 11 and the whole system just fall apart. So you have to figure out how am I gonna take this system here, 10 to 11 volt system, and convert it down to a five volt. So the trick here is to get one of these USB, let me show you right here, yeah, there it is, okay. The USB car charger. Now, the key here is to get a system where it's minimum of 2.1 amp, okay. So anything below that, it will, well, will still charge electronic devices, but the newer electronic devices require that you get a minimum of 2 amps. So I would advise you to get a 2 amp system here, okay? So what we're going to do is convert this 10 to 11 volt system and bring it down to a 5 volt system. You also need an alligator clips. So what you want to do is take the alligator clips, okay, connect to its positive terminal. Here we go. Okay, there. And then the negative terminal over here. All right. And then you want to hook it up to your uh, USB car charger here okay um, now if you have a socket that would have been better with the alligator clip attached to it but I don't have it right now so I'm gonna just use this alligator clip and click connect directly to the car charger okay so the bottom here is a positive charge system so we're gonna hook that up like that okay on the side here is the negative okay we're gonna hook up the negative first so be careful with this don't you don't want to short circuit any of these okay so make sure it's fully connected okay there we go away from each other so you don't want the positive and negative to, to hit each other okay so the the positive is a little bit harder to connect there we go so now it's connected so what we want to do is let me show you the first thing that I want to charge okay so let's take the two Sony batteries here and I want to charge these two so let's connect it now like that and there we go you can see it's charging now my Sony battery can now be charged on the uh, lead acid battery this is an old system that was about to be recycled but now it can be reused see if I hook up to my uh, solar panel um, I can charge this right and then I can charge my uh, camera so amazing that I mean like think about that that's like we're not wasting anything everything is reused and even old things that you think is going to be thrown away or recycled you end up using it so don't throw away now if it's if the old battery the 12 volt battery falls below I would say 10 volt I think it's time to let it go unless you know how to I recycle that you know how to like bring it up to 12 volt but if you don't just I would say just recycle it if it's 
falls under 10 volt. But if it's between, you know, when you charge it and it's set down to around 11-ish volt, uh, maybe even 10, the, 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 min the minimum, then you can still use it to do this, okay? Let me show you another um, device that you can uh, charge as well. My phone, yeah, there we go, let's do it. Use my phone, okay, let's take this out. So I have a Samsung S7 Edge. Let me see if it can be hooked up, let's see. Voila, and it is, it's charging right now, as you can see. Oops, there we go, you see the red here? Oops, you can see the red here, I'll show you right here. See, it's uh, charging right now. So that's great, right? So it's now charging my smartphone as well. You got this old lead acid battery that you're about to throw away, but now you're able to convert this, um, you know, 11 volt system, 10 to 11 volt system, uh, convert it down to five using this um, USB car charger, uh, minimum two amp, connect it to your uh, smartphone, and there we go, you can charge that as well. What else can you do? Okay, so I have this speaker here. Actually, this is cool. I actually mod this with speaker and uh, battery bank. I put it together, okay? So let's focus on this speaker first, okay? So this speaker actually is a lithium-powered 5-volt system. So it can be charged using a USB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge it. Okay, let me show you right now. I'm going to hook it up. Mm, there we go. And you can see there's a red light here. There we go. I don't know if you can see it right there. Okay, the red light showing up. So it's charging. That's so cool. Now I can charge my USB uh, Bluetooth speaker that's running on a 5 volt system. Okay. Lastly, if you want to charge a POW bank like this one here, this one actually is a, I got it uh, on eBay, I believe, uh, and it wasn't doing a great job. It's, you know, it's one of those um, third party battery bank system that claim to have like 30,000 milliamp hour, but it's only probably 8,000. Anyway, it still works. So I can charge this as well because it's a five volt system, right? So this is a five volt system here. Okay, and we are going to charge it. Let's see. You plug it in and voila. Ha. You can see it's charging. There we go. Cool. So there is so many application. As long as you take a uh, 10 to 11 volt system, bring it down to a um, you know five volt system using a USB uh, car charger, you are able to do it. And the cool thing is that this is so cheap. You probably can get it, you know, people will probably give you away because they think it doesn't work anymore. You can take one of these, hook up to your solar panel. I would say use a 40 watt system, charge this system, and then you can use to charge any of these devices and you save money again and save the environment, all right? And I think it's cool because you are now a great steward to take care of nature, God's creation. Awesome, and we're gonna keep on doing that, right? Yeah.